Alright, and now for the next boss. Mr. Train! I don't know why, but this uh, feels awkward actually. <laughs> the game train meets Mr. Train. Who will win? <laughs> well, actually, despite all the shitty jokes that I am going to make in due time, this boss is actually pretty tough. The time when I actually played it, that one time that I mentioned before, I actually streamed that playthrough and uh, the few people that actually saw it commented on my success on beating the bastard in one go, which I was quite surprised at myself. This isn't an easy boss fight, to tell you the truth. As you can see, he's not doing a whole lot r right now, but this is just... Uh, phase 1. This isn't his final form after all. I suggest you keep doing what I'm doing, which is the jetpack attack. You will deal so much damage to the fucker. Yeah, run, bitch! Run! But that's not the end of him. Because now he comes back with long, clanky arms! If you want to avoid the clanky arms, you're gonna need to do some... Uh, oh, actually you're supposed to hit the clanky arms, okay. <laughs> but yeah, to, to succeed in this boss fight, you're gonna need to do the, the spin attack in place, you know? Just charge up and don't move. Because he's just gonna run into you with that whole stuff, which is good. The, the first arm will never reach you. But the second one will, which allows you to deal so much damage! But he's about to kick my ass if I don't kill him anytime soon. I swear to god, you gotta die. There can only be one train on this channel. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck! <laughs> and so Mr. Train took over. Let's try that again. Shit, 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 shit. Don't slip like that, you motherfucker. You nearly gave me an aneurysm. Here we go again. And I gotta say, I'm doing a lot better than the last time I tried this. I actually did a little, like a test, like a test playthrough of this to see how good I am. And that didn't turn out to be very good. I actually lost to this fucker so many times, I even started losing my fucking pool. Which is never a good thing. What the hell happened there? I got stuck in his nose and started spinning like a like a crazy madman. But I got hit way too many times. Holy shit. Gotta be careful now. Bring it on, motherfucker! Yeah, here comes the clanky arms! Do the spinny! Alright, he's gonna do the grabby grabby! Here we go, holy shit, look at the damage you can do to this fucker! Attack the arms for maximum damage! Shit! Alright, here comes the grabby again. Let's see if he can survive this fight. Holy fuck! It's like he's running into the fucking death trap. Uh, but my doom is approaching quick. Well, put me on a gallows like this! Son of a bitch! No! <laughs> to the gallows you go! <laughs> Swing me low and hang me high. I fucking lost to the train again. Let's try again. Gotta be more careful actually, because the, the last time I got hit so many times at this stage because I didn't let go of my uh, C button early enough. 
I jumped first and then I tried to let go, which resulted in me getting hit. Which is not what you're supposed to do. You should save up as many of hearts as you can before you get to the second phase where he starts going clanky hands. Did you notice that I'm losing grammatical capabilities? This is what happens when you play too many video games, they rot your brains. <laughs> Bring it on, motherfucker! Let's see who's the best train out there! Well, he smacked me in the face already. You could say he bitch slapped me. And here he did it again! Son of a bitch! Damn, I just love the sound of continuously looping damage sound effect. It's so great to my ears. But the boss fight music is also pretty fucking badass, I gotta say. I'm quite surprised, I I never actually heard of this game before. I've actually got it as a request on that stream that I mentioned, but that was like a long time ago, at least two years ago. Some guy was like, why don't you play Rocket Knight Adventures? And I'm like, what the hell is that? And so I checked it out and I'm like, holy shit, this is so good. Now we're here again, and... Hells yeah, motherfucker! The train is done. Is done. Is done. Yes. Oh, it's not done yet. Mr. Train's last stand. Now he starts shooting Mentos of Doom. Fucking bastard. He knows my one weakness. I always like the fucking Mentos. <laughs> now they are used against me. Holy shit, he's cutting it close. Just a bit more. Ooh yeah! Off my damn rails, motherfucker! What the hell? <laughs> and that was the second stage, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Train got bested by the Game Train. Let's try the next area. Stage 3. Yes. Uh, I don't remember this part, but I, I am pretty sure that red goop is lava. So do not touch! You might have to fly. Not to the damn pit! Shit! <laughs> That's not what I planned. I'm gonna keep this charged up, because I actually do need to fly somewhere, I believe. But actually no, fuck this. I'm not gonna fly over that pit. That pit is dangerous. Mm, shit! Oh. God damn it, I nearly did get an aneurysm there. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Fuck. <laughs> oh god, this is hard. But it's only hard because I, I don't remember anything about this particular stage. The last two stages, I remember them pretty damn good, so that's no problem for me at this point. But this is completely new to me. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh, wait a minute! There must be hidden platforms! Yes! So the lava is not bullshit, it is my friend, in a way. I like this. This is a really cool idea, actually. Usually lava is not exactly mirror-like, it doesn't have mir mirroring capabilities, but at this point I really welcome this addition to the lava, because that allows me to see platforms that are obscured by the, background, by the foreground objects, which is a very nice gimmick, actually. I don't know a lot of games that does this. Oh great, now it's time to swim with evil fishes! 
You know, this reminds me of uh, super ghouls and ghosts, actually. And that's not a good thing to be reminded of. Damn fishes, I need to fly over this shit. Fuck. Damn it. I'm getting hit way too many times. But there's a lot of fish in here. That's a lot of fish. I saw something there. I bet that was a one-up. Well, fuck it then. We'll just have to live the fight. It. We'll just have to get good. Oh shit! Every time I see danger approaching me, it's it, it's not good for my health, to say the least. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What's going on this time? Not the goddamn pigs again! <laughs> it's now Big Crab. Big Crab happens to have destructible claws, which is actually a good thing. Makes my job a lot easier. Luckily, the son of a bitch is not very good at aiming the claws. And one of them is already gone. I'll have to assume that destroying the claws entirely will force him to use different weapons. So, how about we try not to destroy the other claw? Yeah, how about we just die instead? That works- Oh, son of a bitch! This game is a little harsh with uh, checkpoints, isn't it? If you die, you get sent right to the beginning. So you better get good if you know what's good for you. <laughs> oh shit. It's bad enough that I had tons of deaths in Lost Vikings, now this shit. <laughs> oh, 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 that, that's a banana. That is a good thing. Now I bet I could just fly safely through here through these narrow gaps if I just use the fucking jetpack attack. Yeah, just like that. Well, that was pretty solid. Yeah, with each death we get better. Dying only makes me stronger! Alright, big, show me what you can do. Oh, I can hit him while he's still off screen. Holy shit, let's do that. Let's hit him hard before he starts attacking. Which is now. Shit. That's not very good. You know, that claw is annoying me. I should fuck up these claws. Fuck you! You want a piece of me, boy? Come and get some. Here goes one of the claws. I sure hope he doesn't pull out any new weapons when the claws are down, because I swear to god, that's gonna be contra level of bullshit. He did pull out new guns! YOU MOTHERFUCKER! <laughs> oh, but he's dead, so it's okay. SINK, BITCH! And now I go into this little place. Huh, now we get our own pair of chicken walkers. No! Don't leave me be! No, shit! That is not what I wanted. Well, I guess we'll just have to charge up attacks, because these bats... We don't die that easily, look at this shit. I bet that's gonna hurt! Well, it kinda did. You know what, fuck you. Oh, so that's how you're supposed to do it. Well, that's actually good. Once you're on the ground, stay on the ground, because the chicken walker is a little too damn tall. And once it's lava time, you stay on the walker. He's a bit finicky though. Sometimes I slide up to the edge of it. A boss in the fucking lava world? Oh, damn. 
It's a big old fish! Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute. How am I supposed to survive? <laughs> Do I kill this son of a bitch? <laughs> oh. I think he exposed the core. No, wait, that's just his mouth. Oh, he spat out some bananas too. Oh, I think I know how you do this. You're supposed to attack the pig then that jumps out from the metal fish. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> God damn it. This should really pack up some speed. Give me the bananas! Oh, shit. God damn it, I nearly fell into the lava again. Come on, you son of a bitch. Think you real tough? Oh, I, I think it might uh, depend... Yeah, I, I think it's possible that... Well, it is possible that I'm quite fucking dead. But what I wanted to say... Is that it's possible that he chooses which platforms to eat faster depending on where are you standing. Before he starts eating them fast. Because I noticed, on his second pass, I was standing uh, on the floating platforms, and uh, he started eating those faster. Oh shit. We'll see right now, actually. Oh no, it's dependent on which side he's on. Shit. shit. That's not sink into the lava, boys! Oh, I need the bananas, quick! Ooh, snatched up too! That's very good! This is a tough boss! This one knows how to do his shit! Remember that lava boss uh, that uh, Dr. Robotnik had in uh, Sonic 2, I believe? Yeah, this is the, the same boss done right. Look at this shit. I can barely ever get the chance to hit him. He's doing it right. But I don't know why the fuck the pig jumps out. What's the point? You're exposing yourself to my, to my attacks. I know this is supposed to be done so that I would have a chance to kill the son of a bitch, but on a logical standpoint, what the fuck are you doing? Stay inside! You fucking idiot! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh shit. Well, I didn't get the chance to smack him in the gaba. Guess I'll have to do it next time. Yeah, let's see what you can do now, you son of a bitch. You think you can beat me? Oh, those lava balls actually hit you even if you have invincibility attack. That is not a good thing. For me. This fish is pissed! I'm gonna... I'm gonna end up... Outright having a heart attack like this. The son of a bitch speeds up so suddenly. Give me the banana! Yes. It's a good thing that this boss actually gives you health. Because that allows you to survive even if you're not very good at it. Which is a good thing. Well, in my book at least. Because I for shit don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I hope I'm doing this boss right, because I have no idea. I, I see that I'm doing damage, but that's about it. And swing and miss! No, not a miss, it's a hit! The fucker is done for! <laughs> oh great, now I got caught in the best fucking... Uh, <laughs> best fucking state of all time. That face. It screams I did not give a shit. But that was a good boss fight actually, I really liked that. This game is fucking good.